and Rich Trapper tapping in. TNN Trap News Network. You feel me? Rich Trapper. The homie wanted you to uh, whitelist this shit too. Ooh. Rich Trapper. Rich Trapper. He be reacting to your shit. We back in the same, back in the same, like cracking the stain, man. Like, comment, subscribe for more. Just good. Contiana, we got going on here at TNN, Tribe News Network. Some news you can use. Knowledge, you can't get in nobody's college, though. Get into that if you ain't got into that, man. We get here at TNN, Tribe News Network. Some news you can use. Some knowledge you can't get in college, man. Find me on all streaming platforms. How little you care is out now. Your love ain't for me is out now. And we got some good things going on, man, because today is Juneteenth. We finna pull up on Spider Low today, man. Go get some Woo Wops, one, two steps down with Spider Low. Shout out to the bro. And we will be pulling up on uh, Haters World tomorrow. We're supposed to be pulling up on AD tomorrow, too, bro. So we're gonna see what's up, man. We're gonna see what's up. Uh, AD, don't you flake on me. Don't you flake on me, AD. AD done flaked on me three times, y'all. Three times, y'all. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm lying two times. This might be the third time. Third time I'll be charged. We're gonna see. We're gonna see, though. Uh, AD, don't you flake on me. Find me on all streaming platforms, whichever game six worth more money, all that with blah, blah, blah. Find me on Instagram, Trap News Network, T-R-A-P-N-E-W-S-N-E-T-W-O-R-X, Trap News Network. And drop a comment because the best comment between now and 50,000 subscribers will get a $500 cash Appington. Cash Appington, cash Appington, cash Appington. The caches of the Appingtons, you feel me? So make sure you get into that if you ain't got into that. We finna jump into this Contiana, man. We got my man Top Media TV giving us a bigger breakdown on Brick Baby getting into it with gloves. YG's bodyguard, a reputable member of the Bloodstone Villains who was being alleged to me. We finna jump into this Contiana without no further ado. The don'ts, man. Three, two, one, let's go. What it do, man? Top Media TV. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. Make sure y'all don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. So Brick Baby was calling out YG's bodyguard. I don't know, we don't know the full details about what went down, but it seems like there was a confrontation between Gloves, who was YG's bodyguard, you know, the dude always that wears the mask and the gloves, out the bloodstone villains who call him Baby Dimes, but um, this dude right here was called out by YG, by, I mean by Brick Baby, saying Brick Baby had confronted this dude or checked him or whatever. But um, this dude is a no joke dude, man. This is the same guy that always Protects YG whenever YG's doing a show, making a public appearance. But let me know what y'all think because this is what Brick Baby said, y'all, about his encounter with Gloves, who was a no joke dude, a major buff swole, professional, licensed to carry bodyguard. Hey, that's a running clip. I seen the nigga uh, Gloves the other day, YG security nigga. Dead homies cut, try to act like he was on something. Now, uh, uh, yeah, on the hood. I'm gonna give you the whole story later on. Hey, you's a bitch, nigga, on the hood. Big buff ass nigga, you know what I do to that. <laughs> nigga, so we do to them, cuz. <laughs> you know what I mean? Niggas act like they won't pressure. Niggas act like they putting out this. So, man, you niggas hide, nigga. You niggas was hiding in the lows. Don't, don't come out. Don't come out. And okay, here, I'm gonna get my drip. But, uh, Buff Cut, you was out, cut. I want a dead homies, cause you froze up. Nigga, on the dead homies, the only reason that I've been starting you, nigga, because, nigga, you already know my brother love you, nigga. My big brother love you, nigga. But on the hood, the way you was acting like you wanted to play ball, oh, six, sir, you know what it is. You thought, cause I had the hoochie mama shorts on it, it wasn't cracking. So, as y'all heard him say, we don't know the full story. Brick Baby said he's going. Drop the full story and he's going to explain what went down. So as y'all can see, it seems like there was a confrontation. There was some kind of, you know, beef or some kind of back and forth or something. We don't know, but there's something. And he's pretty much saying how he done spooked this dude and had this dude all shook and scared in the situation. We don't know what went down. This dude is Bloodstone Villains and that's who protects YG. And if y'all don't know, the Bloodstone Villains, you can hear that name. Now, this is what I will say. I'm not saying this is true. I'm not saying this is false. I'm not saying we will. I'm not saying we won't. I'm not saying sick of the book of I'm not saying none of that. What I am saying is, where the hell did this beef come from? Like, how the hell did YG and Brick Baby end up getting into a whoop of a whoopie down? Something going on we don't know about. Now, I know that Brick was having an issue with YG because YG is hanging out with the dudes who, um, you know, are, you know, uh, are opposing factors to the Rolling 60s ever since Nipsey Hussle died. And, you know, Brick Baby felt like, you know, YG was 
for lack of better words, an honorary 6-0, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, anything that had to do with Nip, YG was right there, forefront, blah, 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 showing his face and all that kind of stuff, Wooty Bam for the celebrity aspect of it. But when it came time to politics, you know, YG is a blood, and YG, you know, went with the bloods that do bloody things. And I don't think that Brick Baby was too happy about that. I don't think that Brick Baby was too um, excited about that. And I think that that's where, you know, this little issue, this little one-two step like Sierra has come about because Brick Baby has, filled, has felt... Um, you know, cross to a degree, or, you know, betrayed, or whatever the word might be. Um, so, yeah, man, but it's, it's interesting to see it progress to this. All through the video between YG and his crew against Draco when Draco was murdered. All them dudes that was fighting Draco was pretty much hollering, Bloodstone villain, villain, you know. But let me know what y'all think, man, because this dude is a squabbler. Y'all gonna hear OG skip in a minute, explain how this dude done knocked out a whole bunch of people. And he's a known dude. Uh, they call him Gloves, but that ain't, you know, with the villain, the best fighters in L.A. And he hang with probably the best. I know YG, I met him. And he hang with probably the best fighter. I'm going to tell you, one of the best fighters in L.A. come out the villains. They call him Gloves, but that ain't, you know, what the villains call him. Because the dude with YG, his bodyguard, man, is a, a show fighter. On up on YG, man. He got that one punt. But see, here's the thing about that. Break Baby's already made it clear that he ain't doing no squabbly wobbly. So that makes it a little bit of a woo wop a woo -dee, man. You feel me? That definitely makes it a little woo wop a woo -dee, man. Um, it, it just, it, it's just, it's just, I'm not really sure, man. Um, it's an unnecessary, unnecessary, though, for sure. It's an unnecessary, unnecessary. This is going to go too far. We shouldn't have to be involved in all this kind of wubba wu band, but it's going to be what it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Break Baby has made it abundantly clear that he's not there to do any type of squabbly wobblies. You feel me? She's not, he's not there to do any type of squabbly wobblies. That's not his MO. So, but I would imagine, too, if Gloves is a bodyguard that he has <sighs> Yosemite Sam on him. So, I don't know, bro. It, it's unnecessary, man. And it is, I don't know where this is going to go. Now, this is what I will say. I don't think that this one is a play because I can't see Gloves pulling a play he has nothing to gain from pulling a play so you know i think that this one might be a little bit more serious um of a situation but it's yeah uh. you know one punch the whole bunch of people uh. so there y'all go og skip townsend pretty much explaining this dude gloves yg's bodyguard a notorious squabbler he done knocked out a whole bunch of people Everybody know this dude. You see him in YG's pictures on his IG. This dude always has a mask on and gloves. Swole dude. And this the dude pretty much, you know, Brick Baby's getting into it with. You know, this is a picture of him with an AK-47 protecting YG. Uh, and I guess he might be licensed to carry. Who knows? But, um, you know, he's a professional security for YG. And um, this the dude Brick Baby's getting into it with. Brick Baby said he's going to drop the full story later on. What went down, I guess he might have had a confrontation with this dude. Um, Brick Baby and his people against this guy. We don't know the full details yet. But Brick Baby saying how this dude was spooked and how Brick Baby checked this dude. Or whatever the case may be, that's what it seems like. But um, as y'all know, man, y'all heard it from Skip. This dude is a no-joke dude, a real squabbler, a fighter. And he's going to protect YG at all costs. Let me know what y'all think, man, about the whole situation that's unfolding right now. Brick Baby going at this dude right here. We gonna hear the full story about what went down. Top Media TV, man. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. Peace. All right, man. Shout out to Top Media TV. We finna get up out of the next one. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe for more of this good content. Y'all know we got going on here at TNN. Trap News Network. Some news you can use. Some news you can use. Some knowledge you can't get in college. Dog. We're going to keep y'all updated on the story as it continues to develop, man. But we're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see. YG and Brig, baby. Hopefully they can come to a, you know, cool little mutual understanding without busting into a one-two step like Sierra. But you never know. Words over whoopies. We're going to find out, though. Uh, we up out here to the next one. Y'all know the deal, man. It's Free Avenue Angel until he's right. Red dot slides to the left. Get shimmies. Get chili on. Free Avenue Angel until he's free, though. We gone.